Sun and liftoff of Discovery, hoisting harmony to the heavens. Hello everyone, today we are taking a look at Webb's final preparations in progress. By now in early July, it has been over half a year since the James Webb Space Telescope left it off and was sent on a trajectory for L2. In these past months, the Next Generation Telescope has managed to complete a host of achievements including hundreds of deployments, positioning, alignment, and much more. All of which have been leading up to the long-awaited release of its first images. While NASA has shown off a few images taken by the telescope in the past, these were primarily during tests and other procedures. However, in only a few days on July 12th, NASA will reveal Webb's first full-color images and additional data. Not to mention the completion of 16 out of the 17 modes on some of the JWST's necessary equipment. Decades of work and billions of dollars have been put into this telescope along. Thankfully, only days from now we should expect to see some of the incredible results, and what the future looks like for Webb. Here I will go more in depth into what to expect on July 12th, how to see the images, the telescope's progress on its 17 modes, and more. In addition to the upcoming release of these first images, NASA has been busy working on the 17 different modes for Webb. Specifically, only days ago, the second of NASA's James Webb Space Telescope's four primary scientific instruments, known as the Mid-Infrared Instrument, MIRI, has concluded its post-launch preparations and is now ready for science. The last MIRI mode to be checked off was its coronagraphic imaging capability, which uses two different styles of masks to intentionally block starlight from hitting its sensors when attempting to make observations of the stars orbiting planets. These customized masks allow for scientists to directly detect exoplanets and study dust disks around their host stars in a way that's never been done before. Along with Webb's three other instruments, Mary initially cooled off in the shade of Webb's tennis court size sunshield to about 90 kelvins, or minus 298 degrees Fahrenheit, or minus 183 degrees Celsius. To perform its intended science meant dropping to less than 7 kelvins, just a few degrees above the lowest temperature matter can reach, by using an electrically powered cryocooler. These extreme operating temperatures allow for Mary to deliver mid-infrared images and spectra with an unprecedented combination of sharpness and sensitivity. We are thrilled that Mary is now functioning, state-of-the-art instrument with performances across all its capabilities better than expected. Our multinational commissioning team has done a fantastic job getting Mary ready in the space of just a few weeks. Now we celebrate all the people, scientists, engineers, managers, national agencies, ESA, and NASA, who have made this instrument a reality as Miri begins to explore the infrared universe in ways and to depths never achieved before, said Gillian Wright, Miri European Principal Investigator at the UK Astronomy Technology Center, and George Reek, Miri Science Lead at the University of Arizona. Miri was developed as a partnership between NASA and ESA, European Space Agency, with NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory leading the U.S. efforts, and a multinational consortium of European astronomical institutes contributing for ESA. With NIRIS and Miri post-launch commissioning activities concluded, the Webb team will continue to focus on the final mode a part of the NERCOM instrument. A recently updated screenshot from NASA highlights that all modes are complete except for one, coronagraphy, which the agency is currently working to finish. In addition to the completion of more instrument modes, Webb is only days away from releasing its first official images and data. Just yesterday NASA tweeted saying, we're one week away from revealing Webb's first images and data. In terms of where you can see these images, NASA will be live streaming the day of, and also release them on its website. The release of these images is a very big deal for many reasons. As the largest and most complex observatory ever launched into space, Webb has been going through a six-month period of preparation before it can begin science work, calibrating its instruments to a space environment and aligning its mirrors. This careful process, not to mention years of new technology development and mission planning, has built up to the first images and data, a demonstration of Webb at its full power, ready to begin its science mission and unfold the infrared universe. As we near the end of preparing the observatory for science, we are on the precipice of an incredibly exciting period of discovery about our universe. The release of Webb's first full-color images will offer a unique moment for us all to stop and marvel at a view humanity has never seen before, said Eric Smith, Webb program scientist at NASA headquarters in Washington. These images will be the culmination of decades of dedication, talent, and dreams, but they will also be just the beginning. Deciding what Webb should look at first has been a project more than five years in the making, undertaken by an international partnership between NASA, ESA, CSA, and the Space Telescope Science Institute, STSCI, in Baltimore, home to Webb's science and mission operations. Our goals for Webb's first images and data are both to showcase the telescope's powerful instruments and to preview the science mission to come, said astronomer Klaus Pontopadin, Webb project scientist at STSCI. They are sure to deliver a long-awaited wow for astronomers and the public. 
Once each of Webb's instruments has been calibrated, tested, and given the green light by its science and engineering teams, the first images and spectroscopic observations will be made. The team will proceed through a list of targets that have been pre-selected and prioritized by an international committee to exercise Webb's powerful capabilities. Then the production team will receive the data from Webb's instrument scientists and process it into images for astronomers and the public. I feel very privileged to be a part of it, said Alyssa Pagan, a science visuals developer at STSCI. Typically, the process from raw telescope data to final, clean image that communicates scientific information about the universe can take anywhere from weeks to a month, Pagan said. While careful planning for Webb's first full-color images has been underway for a long time, the new telescope is so powerful that it is difficult to predict exactly how the first images will look. Of course, there are things we are expecting and hoping to see, but with the new telescope and this new high-resolution infrared data, we just won't know until we see it," said STSCI's lead science visuals developer Joseph Deposquil. Early alignment imagery has already demonstrated the unprecedented sharpness of Webb's infrared view. However, these new images will be the first in full color, and the first to showcase Webb's full science capabilities. In addition to imagery, Webb will be capturing spectroscopic data, detailed information astronomers can read in light. The first image package of materials will highlight the science themes that inspired the mission and will be the focus of its work, the early universe, the evolution of galaxies through time, the life cycle of stars, and other worlds. All of Webb's commissioning data, the data taken, while aligning the telescope and preparing the instruments, will also be made publicly available. After capturing its first images, Webb's scientific observations will begin, continuing to explore the mission's key science themes. Teams have already applied through a competitive process for time to use the telescope in what astronomers call its first cycle, or first year of observations. Observations are carefully scheduled to make the most efficient use of the telescope's time. These observations mark the official beginning of Webb's general science operations, the work it was designed to do. Astronomers will use Webb to observe the infrared universe, analyze the data collected, and publish scientific papers on their discoveries. Beyond what is already planned for Webb, there are the unexpected discoveries astronomers can't anticipate. One example, in 1990 when the Hubble Space Telescope launched, dark energy was completely unknown. Now it is one of the most exciting areas of astrophysics. This helps put in perspective the opportunities and discoveries that scientists can't even predict Webb will discover. Thankfully, in only a few days we can expect to see, not only the first images and data, but also the start of an exciting future with Webb fully operational. Many of us have been keeping track of Webb for many months now as it continued through different stages and preparations. Now in early July, we are only days away from the official release of its first full-color images and data. This comes in addition to the telescope working on its final mode to complete all 17 for each of the instruments. We will have to wait and see how it progresses, and the impact it has on the space industry. Thank you very much for watching.